Welcome to November at Ozarks Technical Community College. It feels like we just got the semester off to a start, but here we are on the cusp of Thanksgiving break. Good luck with the rest of the fall semester. Now on October 4th, we held our first in-person college development day since 2019. Dr. Higdon delivered the state of the college address and we heard from the foundation and strategic planning at the Expo Center. The keynote speaker was friend of the college, Jeff Houghton. The comedian and talk show host delivered an inspirational message about achieving dreams and how OTC helps individuals make their dreams come true. We will get together on February 21st for the annual innovation celebration from 2 to 5 p.m. Do you know someone who is worthy of a Trailblazer Award? Make your nominations by November 18th. And if you have a great idea for a student success mini grant or a game changer grant, there's an innovation lab on December 2nd in the Plaster Manufacturing Center. Speaking of the Plaster Manufacturing Center, the college's newest building was a flurry of activity in October. The day before the National Manufacturing Day, the college hosted a rapid networking event. The program allowed our manufacturing students to meet with potential employers like CNH Reman and Positronics, and some students received job offers on the spot. The process that's happening behind us at this event, um, we have today we have about 23 employers that are engaging um, and it's a combination of a career fair kind of speed dating style. So they are rotating every eight minutes with direct engagement with those employers and those employers are there sharing about what their company is, what they do, kind of what their culture is like and what direct opportunities they have for hiring um, right now and in the future um, once the students are finished with their training. A week later, 1,000 high school sophomores began their tours of the college in the PMC for Explore OTC. The 15-year-olds came by to decide if they want to spend half of their school days at OTC for their final two years of high school. Besides all the manufacturing programs, students can choose to study things like early childhood education, graphic design, and agriculture. Our hope is to bring students to OTC. A lot of them have never been here before, and they don't know what opportunities are in front of them and what their school can provide them through us. So we bring them over here and really give them a chance to explore in depth areas of interest that are for them for all of our various programs. They do hands-on activities, they do program demonstrations with faculty to see what they might be able to do if they choose to come here. The PMC hosted around 100 community leaders for the Springfield Business Journal's Economic Growth Forum in October. The discussion centered around the workforce and how to get more people the skills they need. And our Plaster Manufacturing Center and the Fast Track Workforce Incentive Grant were both frequently mentioned. A few days later, hundreds of high schoolers from Southwest Missouri came to the PMC for iCreate. The event sponsored by the Missouri Area Manufacturers and the Missouri Job Center was designed to introduce teens to careers in manufacturing. We did some other stuff in October that did not involve the PMC. They involve cars, chili, running, and professional dress, but not all at once. The annual car and motorcycle show filled up one of the parking lots with classic cars and hot rods. More than 100 vehicles were on display, and the event raised $2,000 to help send students to Skills USA. That evening, the Richwood Valley Campus hosted its annual Physical Therapist Assistance 5K through the hills and valleys of the picturesque campus. Afterwards, runners and spectators were treated to chili, live music, and fall fun. Last spring, Career Employment Services held its first Dress for Success event. It was so popular and successful, they held another one this fall. Thanks to everyone who donated their gently used professional clothing to the event and to give our students the clothing they need for interviews or that first job. Everyone enjoys the annual harvest parade when the kids from the Early Childhood Education Center dress up in their Halloween costumes and go trick-or-treating around the campus. COVID shut it down for a few years, but it was back this year in a big way, and even some employees got in on the dress-up action. Enjoy the photos and video from this year's harvest parade, and until next time, I'll see you around the college.